Welcome to VegPlotter. Now I think it's the best planner out there. This video is really just to show you the sort of three main things you need to know when planning out your garden with VegPlotter. There are sort of three things that work slightly different from other planners, but once you get to know them, make planning so much easier. The first is how to create a, a plan of any size. Um, then we're gonna cover off how plants need beds. And uh, then we're gonna also cover the month by month approach in this video. There are four other videos that go into more depth about how to use VegPlotter, but if, you, if you're just gonna watch one, then I suggest you watch this one and then you'll get the, the key concept. We think the rest is fairly intuitive. Okay, so let's make a start. So this is VegPlotter. This is what you get when you first load your plot. If we zoom out, uh, we have a plot and we click this cog here of 10 meters by seven meters. Now here you can change them yourself. So, and you can use feet or inches. So you could say this is 30 feet uh, and you can mix the max the measurements by 10 meters. And that will give you a, a plot size of whatever you need. Now, uh, if you have an irregular plot, just set the plot size that would fit uh, the irregular plot. Uh, in a later video, we'll show you how to um, make that irregular shape plot using structures like fences and stuff to mark out the boundary. So that's the plot settings. So the next key thing is that plants need bed. Now, if we go over here and we say we find a tree, uh, let's do untimely plants because we're in May, uh, and we wanted to drag a tree on, uh, it won't add it to the plot until we add a bed. So if we need to add a bed, we could say add a little circular bed just for the tree. And then that will allow us to add a bed to the plot. Okay, now that, the reason for that is because uh, when you start to add rows of plants, you can set a row, any row direction you like. Um, and uh, VegPlotter allows you to uh, add on, let's get rid of the tree, add in plants. And it, it automatically works out the spacing and the row length for you. So you don't have to mess about with all the kind of like, like other planners, you have to kind of drag out the corners and all that kind of stuff. You can do if you want to, see here, but it will um, automatically work out the spacing for you. Now the third thing is the month by month approach. So we've added these beetroot on uh, in May. Now the important thing to know is this month selector if we move back through, you see that the um, uh, beetroot we planted has disappeared. If we move back to May, it added in. So as you go through your planning, your planting schedule, start in, your, in the month you're in or the month you want to plan, and then add in the plants you want to add in for that month. Then move to the next month, and then move to the next month. And that allows the veg plotter to know when you plan to put stuff in, and it will work out when it thinks you should harvest them and all that kind of stuff. And it really helps make planning so much easier. Right, those are the three key things you need to know. Uh, you need to know how to set the size of your plot. You need to know that plants need beds and without a bed, you can't add a plant. Uh, and you also need to know that you, you plan in the month by month approach. Uh, once you know those things, you, you know, everything else is really easy and we think you'll be able to pick up um, how to add beds and all that kind of stuff straight, fairly straightforwardly. But if you do want to have a look through the, the follow on videos, we go into much more detail around how you can add beds, how you move around the plot, how you can manipulate various structures and shapes uh, and how you plan out your planting year. Um, we hope you like it. Uh, if you have any feedback, let me know and uh, uh, have fun planning.